It was only a matter of time before I talked about this. Marsha Jones. This is the name of a black woman from Alabama who lost her baby in a physical altercation. During the fight, her opponent drew a gun on her and shot her in the stomach, killing the developing fetus in her womb nigh instantly. The shooter walked free, as it was deemed that he acted in self-defense, and Marche was charged, but not with assaulting her opponent. She was indicted for the death of her unborn child. The charges were dropped once it was proven how absolutely asinine it was to charge her for a crime she was the victim of, but this is the inevitable result of forced birther laws. Forced birth legislation is the terminology many leftists use for abortion restrictions, because they force anyone with a vagina who dares to commit the heinous crime of having sex to give birth to a child they may not be prepared to raise and holds them responsible for any damage to the fetus they are carrying, regardless of it is intentional or simply the result of a fall down a flight of goddamn stairs. Being the victim of an accident can actually be a crime in some parts of America because of these laws. I am a pro-choice individual. This will not come as a surprise to you. I'm heavily in favor of people having access to abortion, and that is for a lot of reasons. First of all, I have a lot of mental and physical ailments that impede my quality of life. And I personally would find it cruel to bring a child into this world that inherits my genetics, develops my illnesses, and has to live with the conditions I have had to live with, because the world is still incredibly cruel towards disabled people. My child would have had no say in existing in a world where rates of sexual assault, abuse, and filicide towards disabled children are some of the highest in America. They would have had no say in being born into a world that does not accept them. And that seems like a really shitty thing to do to a person. In addition, I recognize the idea of someone who cannot support a child, whether because they are mentally ill or financially unstable, being forced to have that child would lead to obvious abuse and negligence from the resentment that parent would hold towards the child in those circumstances. So I am absolutely in favor of people having access to first and second trimester abortions. But that is not the only reason why forced birth legislation disgusts me. The real, non-hypothetical human cost disgusts me. In El Salvador, where a total ban on abortion leads to immediate suspicion of women whose pregnancies do not end with a healthy baby, a woman named Teodora del Carmen Vasquez was arrested and marked as a criminal after she suffered a stillbirth. She was criminalized for having a miscarriage. Another woman named Mara Figuera Marroquin, I apologize if I mispronounced that, had to have her 30 year con had to have her 30 year prison sentence commuted after she was also arrested and charged with abortion and aggravated homicide for having a miscarriage. She served almost 15 years. And much like these women, Marche Jones wanted her baby. She wanted to be a mom. And when she lost her baby, she was treated like a criminal for the sheer fact her baby didn't survive a gunshot wound. Anyone with a womb, not just women, but trans men and AFAB NBs as well, 
can now be indicted and imprisoned for accidents, for illnesses, and assaults that cause them to lose their unborn children and their fetuses. There is a genuine human cost to this legislation. Innocent people are going to suffer. Innocent people are already suffering. We cannot let this stand. If these legislations continue to grow more and more powerful, we are going to have our own constant stream of women who are losing their children being convicted for having miscarriage. Attend protests. Call and write to your senators. Make serious noise about this, because this cannot continue. Stay safe, stay smart, and stay informed. I'll see you guys next time.